Tuberculosis is the biggest infectious disease pandemic in the world and is increasing. And in Britain, TB has been rising every year for the last 15 years. And London carries nearly half of that burden, making it Europe's TB capital. Before the Elispot test, we used to do a skin test, which would require two visits. First, to inject the reagent under the skin. Second, to read it three, two to three days later. We would also have to examine some sputum, which could take up to six weeks to culture up before we had a result. And finally, a chest X-ray. We've devised a new test called Elispot. It's the first T-cell-based test in medicine, uh, which means that it works by measuring the number of T-cells in the blood that are fighting TB infection. And if a person has those T-cells in the blood, that means they're infected with TB. So our new blood test is recognized as the 100-year upgrade on the old skin test because it's more accurate, faster, and more convenient. It means that now, for the first time, we can screen large numbers of people at risk of TB and give them preventative treatment before they ever go on to get the disease. The early spot is a better test because unlike the skin test, you only need one visit. It's a blood test, which also means we have the result back within 24 hours, as opposed to having to come back a few days later to read it. I was referred to Imperial College Healthcare because a member of my team at work contracted TB and I suspected that I might have been exposed to it as well. My skin test for TB was positive, and that would normally mean that I'd have to uh, undergo treatment for TB. It has a better sensitivity. It seems to pick up TB infection in uh, cases where traditionally the skin test may not have worked. On top of all that, it's more specific. It doesn't cross-react, for instance, with the BCG vaccination. All these things make it a vast improvement for the patient. The early spot test was better than the skin test. It was more accurate and faster. And it showed that I didn't have TB, so I didn't have to undergo any treatment. As well as being more accurate, the new test is also very cost effective and has changed TB control policy internationally. Britain was the first country to introduce guidelines on the use of the new test in the health service. And in the last three years since then, the whole of Western Europe and most of the developed world has followed suit.